Okay, so let's have this problem. So you are standing in a 20 meters building, then you thrown a ball upward with a velocity of 8 meters. Then how long the ball get to the top? Find the maximum height, find the speed before hitting the ground, and find the total flight time. So this is the illustration for this problem. Then to solve for A, so how long this is the time that the ball get to the top. So this is the top. So first, we need to list all the given. So since on this problem, you thrown a ball upward. So for upward, the final velocity is equal to zero. Then the initial velocity, that's eight meters per second. And the gravity, this one is constant, that's negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And time is the unknown. So to solve for the time using these formulas, and from these formulas, we're going to pick this formula to solve for the time because there is a given final velocity, a given initial velocity, and a given gravity. Then we can solve for the time. So to solve for the time, so this is the final velocity equals the initial velocity plus the gravity times the time. Then substitute now the values. So for the final velocity, this one is zero. The initial velocity, that's eight meters per second plus the gravity, that's negative 9.8 meters per second squared times the time then to simplify so transpose this to the other side so this becomes negative 8 meters per second then equals negative 9.8 meters per second squared times the time then to solve for the time, divide both sides by negative 9.8 meters per second. So divide by negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So cancel. So we have now the time equals. So this negative 8 divide by negative 9.8. So we have negative 8 divide by negative 9.8 equals, so the time is 0 0.82 seconds. So this is 0 0.82 seconds. So cancel this meters, cancel one second. Then for B, so find the maximum height. So to find the maximum height first, we need to find the height from the top, and these are the given. So the final velocity is zero because we need to find the height to the top. Then the initial velocity, that's eight meters per second. And the gravity, this is constant, that's negative 9.8 meters per second squared and the uh, displacement so displacement is the unknown so to find this displacement and to solve for the displacement using this formula because we have the final velocity the initial velocity and the gravity, then we can find now the displacement. So we have the final velocity squared equals the initial velocity squared plus 
2 times the gravity times the displacement. So the final velocity is 0. The initial velocity, that's 8 meters per second. Then to the power 2, then plus 2 times the gravity, that's negative 9.8 meters per second squared times the displacement so this one is the unknown then this is zero equals eight squared that's 64 then m squared per second squared and this positive two times negative 9.8 to positive two times negative 9.8 so that's negative 19.6 this is negative 19.6 meters per second squared then times the displacement then we need to transpose this 64 to the other side so this becomes negative 64 meter squared second squared then equals negative 19.6 meters per second squared times the displacement then to solve for this so divide both sides by negative 19.6 meters per second squared divide by negative 19.6 meters per second squared then cancel so the displacement equals this negative 64 divided by negative 19.6 so negative 64 divided by negative 19.6 equals so that's 3.27 so the displacement is 3 0.27 meters and to find now the maximum height so the maximum height from the top to the ground that's the maximum height so we have the maximum height so we just need to add these two numbers so we have 20 meters then plus this 3.27 meters so therefore the maximum height is 23.27 meters so this is now the maximum height then for this problem so to find the speed before hitting the ground so from this given this is the top and before hitting the ground to find the speed so this is the final velocity so first we need to list now the given so we have the initial velocity that's 8 meters per second the gravity that's negative 9.8 meters per second squared then we also have the displacement since from the top to the ground then we're going to use this maximum height that's 23.27 but since going down so this becomes negative so this is negative 23.27 meters and the final velocity this is the unknown so to find out the final velocity using this formula because we have the initial velocity the gravity and the displacement then we can find out the final velocity so we have bf squared equals the initial velocity squared plus 2 times the gravity times the displacement 
and this is the unknown, the final velocity then equals the initial velocity is 8 meters per second, then to the power 2, then plus 2 times the gravity, that's negative 9.8 meters per second squared, then times the displacement, that's negative 23.27 meters. Then to simplify, so we have the final velocity squared. This 8 squared is 64 meters squared second squared. So meters squared per second squared. Then multiply these three numbers. 2 times negative 9.8 times negative 23.27. So we have 2 times negative 9.8 times this negative 23.27 equals this 456.09 so this is positive 456.09 then meters squared per second squared because we have this meters times meters that's meters squared then to simplify so the final velocity squared equals so you add these two numbers so we have 64 plus 456.09 equals that's 520.09 so this is 520.09 then meter squared per second squared and to find out the final velocity so take the square root to solve for the final velocity then equals so this is the square root of 520.09 so that's 22.81 so the final velocity before hitting the ground is 22.81 meters per second. But take note, since going down, so therefore the final velocity is negative. So this is negative 22.81 meters per second then for this problem so to find the total flight time so this is the time and from this illustration so from the time you throw the ball upward then going down and we need to find the total flight time so first we need to list all the given and the initial velocity is 8 meters per second then for this final velocity since from the top to the ground then for the final velocity we're going to use this number that's negative 22.81 so this is negative 22.81 because this is going down then the gravity that's negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So this final velocity is meter per second. And time is the unknown for the total flight time. So based from this given, so we're going to use this formula because we have the final velocity, the initial velocity, the gravity, then time is the unknown. So to solve now for the total flight time, so this is the final velocity equals the initial velocity plus the gravity times the time. Then for the final velocity, that's negative 22.81 meters per second equals the initial velocity is 8 meters per second. Then plus the gravity, that's negative 9.8 meters per second squared times the time. 
then transpose this positive 8. So this becomes 22.81 meters per second minus 8 meters per second then equals negative 9.8 meters per second squared times the time then combine so negative 22 and negative 8 this is negative 30.81 meters per second then equals negative 9.8 meters per second squared times the time then to solve for the time, divide both sides by negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Divide by negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Cancel. So the time equals. So we have negative 30.81. Then divide by negative 9. 0.8 equals so that's 3.14 so the total flight time is 3.14 seconds